Hello everyone and welcome back to Elohim Eternal. Alright, we are... we started a side quest, right? We should speak to Abrax first. Okay. Thank you for coming. This is the place where my research has taken me. I would go on myself, but I fear any Shadim that may be lurking inside. Well, I'll lead the way and protect you. Do you know what you're looking for? Not exactly, but I'll know it when I see it. The legends speak of a bronze snake. That's right. A bronze snake coined around, or coiled around a wooden staff. Will its uh, healing properties still be intact, I wonder? It's possible. It was a gift for the uh, from the Kaza Crater, so it's likely that it would still be as powerful. Only one way to find out. Let's head inside. You know, something just crossed my mind. Am I the only one who finds it a little strange that nothing or no one here really questions that she's with us because she's, you know, half K Knight? Well, she does, like, look undeniably human as well, so I guess maybe they just think she's, like, wearing that or something and it's not, like, a part of her. I don't know. It's just, it's just something that crossed my mind. <laughs> I've seen RPGs do that sort of thing before and, like, not think it through. <laughs> You're definitely not what we're looking for. Okay, let's see what we got. Fida. Or Feedy. Kinda like the look of the snake enemy. Oh, they use ice. Okay, so they're not going to be weak to it. Uh, do we have a group hit? I think that, um, no, no, no. I'll just take him out one at a time. Okay, so that straight up is just paralysis. You can't move now. Oh, that resets your turn too. That's really bad. Okay, that's a very dangerous status ailment. That's your other weakness. Okay. I think if I get godly, that'll kill. There we go. Why not? <laughs> Let's start using those for their stat ups now that we have uh, all three party members. That typically is my personal rule for those sorts of items. Wait till you have all your party members before you start using your stat ups. I wouldn't have gotten this far without your help. I can't thank you enough. Oh! It's here. This is it. I can hardly believe it. But does it still work? Now I'll become a prophet. Finally, I can make my father proud. We're not alone here. Come to me, Nehushtan. 
Get away from it, Abrax. What? The snake is a Shadim. But that can't be. Stay back, Abrax. So much for our healing snake. Here they come. Slither. Raises speed, okay. You need 50 for that. I'm gonna do this. Oh, hold on. You have a shield. Uh... I was gonna use frozen waters, but I think I should heal everyone instead. Not weak to dark, not weak to ice. You wouldn't have the same weaknesses, right? Might as well try it. I haven't tried Earth yet. No, you have different weaknesses. What's left? Lightning? What? Wait. Wind? It's gotta be wind and light, right? How many weaknesses do I have left? Yeah, okay. Oh, you have a lot of health. That's fine. Ah. Yeah, okay, it's wind and light. That doesn't mean this won't do a lot. Because this always does a lot. Same for this. Oh god. I was banking on you using a single hitting move. That you could not have picked a worse target. Do this with just you two. I forget if uh, dead party members gain experience. So I might as well play it safe. 
This should kill. There we go. Okay, that was kind of tough. I should buy more Chris's. Especially the white ones. I'm sorry, Abrax. I was wrong. We don't know that for sure. Perhaps a snake was a tamed Shadim used by ju the judges of Avram's day. Something made it aggressive. Perhaps the same corruption that's made other Shadim violent. I would have died if it wasn't for you three. It's why you asked uh, us to join you, right? We're safe now. But, but we could have died. All for a silly dream. Let's head out, out of here. Updated, not completed. Ooh, those are expensive. I think it's worth it. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I can't thank you enough for saving my life. I'm sorry about your research. Oh, don't be. If anything, this journey has taught me that I'm not cut out for becoming a prophet. I never want to be one. My father won't like it, but I can't live my life the way he wants me to. It's my life. Agreed. What will you do now? I'm good with uh, medicines and herbs. Maybe you'd make for a good healer. I think so. I can still help our judges that way, too. Thank you so much for your help in this. I couldn't have uh, come to this discovery that, uh, in realization without you. We're happy to hit help. Take care, Brax. A Brax's parting gift. What is that? Oh! That's a bundle of items. What is that armor? Oh, that sounds good. Natural, like, TP regeneration. Less agility. I I'm putting that on you. That sounds really good. Now, wasn't there another side quest somewhere, too? I honest to god forgot. Uh, uh. I want to check on something, too, while I'm here. Oh, that girl- or Evie isn't here. I thought she would be.
We've made it. Yes, but something isn't right. Do people live here? Of course people live here. As well as a, as a sect of judges known as the Watchmen. They watch the border between Canite and Indonite territory. Across here is Ugarit. Okay, so not there quite yet. My home. You sound apprehensive. Do you not want to return? I do, just not alone. They are your people. What's the worst that could happen? You haven't met Og and Sahone. I shudder to think what they'll do when they see I'm back and that all their, um, their youth are missing. We'll get them back. We, he says. I, <laughs> I'm me, he says. Our next stop is to speak with the head of the Watchmen. A woman named Sh uh, Shira. Let's go. Something I'd like to do, actually. Uh, where's my Let's Play folder? Uh, yes, that's what I'm currently playing at the moment. <laughs> I know at the very end of this episode, it, they did mention what the other side quest. I could have sworn there were two side quests. Yeah. Oh, with a gold star, okay. Also, did we ever find this? I don't think we did. Huh. I don't know if I'm gonna go back and get that at this point. <laughs> at this point, whatever was hidden there has probably been outclassed by stuff we have now. Welcome to Hebron, home of the Watchers. I have lived in Hebron all my life. My father was a watchman and I follow in his footsteps. Thank you for your service, Zolan. It was my honor. I want to protect my people from the dangers of the Canaanites. Did you fight in the war? Yes, I fought against the Canaanites on the border. You never wanted to leave Hebron. Never. This is my home. I know I know no other. My only regret is that I never married and never held any children. If I had, they might have had a different life from, the, from my own. Watchers are no longer needed. Not with the war ended. There are no more Canaanites, and um, thank the Cosmic Creators for that. How can you be so sure? How do you know the Canaanites are no more? We haven't seen them in years. Before a, day w um, before, a day wouldn't pass without a, watch um, a watchman at least having one sighting of a canite. Now the border is quiet, and Ugarit is empty. Rest in peace. Gesseed of the Watchman, born into Aiden as a watchman, died protecting the people he loved in service to the Cosmic Raiders. May he find his peace in the loving arms of his ma uh, his makers in the Kingdom of Heaven. You'll be missed, uh, Ahuvi. Thank you for your service, Kissed. Why are they giving me that? Oh, wait, no, I thought that was gonna heal me. I'm sorry. I, I forgot what that does. Something doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, good. This is bound to start an argument. How <laughs> how did you and your companions manage to get across the border, Ruthia? To the Canaanites, there are no borders. All the land belongs to Ahix. No, I mean... He means how did you manage to escape the ever-watchful eye of the eyes of the Watchmen? Aiden is full of underground caves, passages in um in the Abzu. 
but most of those caves have been forgotten, known only by the sages like Og and Sahon. We definitely have no clue of them when uh, we made our journey to Mount Sinai. So you went underground. When we found a passageway, yes, but not always. Sometimes a passage would take us in the opposite direction from Mount Sinai. We had actually walked a full circle at one point and made it back to Ur without it meaning to. Are the underground passageways that confusing? Oh yes, some we know quite well since the Canites now live underground, but there are several that just don't seem to make sense. They don't seem to go or lead anywhere. Why is that? A lot of these passages were used for the war effort. They aren't meant to lead anywhere except uh, to enemy camps. And those camps probably don't exist anymore. Exactly. Could they lead into Indianite towns and cities? They lead into Mount they led into Mount Sinai. But Mount Sinai is a mystery to both Canaanites and Indonites, so that's not surprising. Whatever passage did lead in, into Indonite uh, towns and villages have been filled to uh, to the best of their abilities. I know because I... Ooh. Pop up. There we go. I know because I managed to work as, um, as my first uh, assigned duty as a judge. Impressive. But we didn't use uh, the Abzu to cross over to Indonite territory. We just walked across, literally. And no one caught you. Didn't see a soul. Since the war is over and the Canites are presumably extinct, I suppose the Watchmen have been lax in their duties. Could be, but I think there's more to it than that. I think ever since the war ended, many Watchmen retired. Their ranks are limited. What is the point of watching over a land that is believed to be uninhabited? Can you blame them? Well, Shira will be surprised when she hears about the Canites we captured in Mount Sinai. Hopefully she doesn't immediately attack Ruthia when she sees her. Maybe I should wait outside. Don't worry. Joshua will protect you. Right, Joshua? Do yourself a favor, Ruthia, and stay close to Bayos. I kind of wonder if those underground tunnels are going to be like a maze dungeon at some point. This kind of feels like... That kind of feels like what that's um, kind of foreshadowing to. Also, no more... No more of the currency behind trees <laughs> that was such a silly thing i loved that the game was doing watchman's code we the watchmen are dis uh, dispatched by the consecrators to watch over the borders between the land gifted to us as a blessing by our makers and the desolate land still poisoned by the canites we watch day and night without rest our eyes unblinking so that no canite may pass through our border we watch as the first line of defense against the enemies of hosanna the would-be destroyers of Sheol. We watch to protect our children so that we may see our children's children. We watch from high places, mountain peaks, hills, and ba um, battlements. We watch from above to look down on the enemy, for we are the watchmen, the, uh, um, the eyes of the consecrators on Ivan. There was a time I thought I would join the watchmen, but I always had my sights on Jericho and the council. I wanted to follow my father's footsteps, and he wanted, wasn't a member of the watchmen. He respected them, though, just like I do. Oh, Watchman's Pendant. A pendant worn by all members of the Watchmen. The pendant is a golden eye, known as the Eye of the Consecrators. Watchmen are meant to be the eyes of the Consecrators on Aiden. The trainees this year are far and few between. Two decades ago, the Watchmen would have uh, to turn recruits away. I should know, I was one of those new recruits and my brother could not join me in the ranks of Watchmen. It just isn't the same anymore. Before? Oh, before the training was rigorous, or even cruel. Or before the training was rigorous, even cruel. Recruits would have to stand watch for 48 hours straight. There was no rest. Even as they ate, they would have to stand watch. They had a bucket next to them to empty their waste in. Aside from tra uh, training to be alert, we would have to run from one end of the border to the next, and the last recruit to make it across would be let go. And don't even get me started in the combat training, I still have scars from those days. Now it's more relaxed, and the caliber of recruits ha has changed too. They're only looking for three meals a day and, and, and an easy life. They know with the war ended that there isn't much to watch anymore, just a barren wasteland where the enemy used to be. I suppose so, but I'm a warrior and a watchman. I have been since I was 14 years old. It's all I know, it's everything I am. But you're right, peace is always better than war. 
Yes, they will, or so the prophets and oracles say. I look forward to ascending with the consecrators in the kingdom of heaven. Oh, good. Children of Hosanna. The children of Hosanna are the original creations of Hosanna himself. It is said that the children of Hosanna were born from water and chaos, and that Hosanna had taken their chaos and gave it form and peace. Unlike the children of the Khazakraters, the Indonites, the children of Hosanna do not have koshins, and, uh, and it is believed that they can use a magia without the use of a crystalos. It is also believed that, unlike the children of the Cosmocraters who were made for battle, the children of Hosanna are pure beings, full of light and ma um, magia, and that they have a direct link to Hosanna, even after his sacrifice to defeat Ahix. The children of Hosanna live on the plant Sheol, where Indonites go where they die. One day I hope to meet the children of Hosanna, wherever, whether it be in life or death. They must have incredible power to be uh, direct creations of Hosanna himself. Ah, oh, we hide these behind wardrobes now. <laughs> Hunter's spear. That must be an upgrade. Oh, wait, you use elemental power. Deflect seal and weakness. I'll try it. It raises speed by quite a lot, and again, this is a game that where speed is very important due to using ATB bars. Any word? They haven't returned and there's been no word. Damn, I can't sign another team. I've already lost too many watchmen to this investigation. People still hear the voices. They see things they cannot explain. Yes, and the people know of the missing watchmen. This doesn't bode well. What are your orders? I don't know. Let me think on it. Thank you for the report. And who might you be? I'm Joshua Asa of Jericho. A judge? No, Lady Shira, a soldier. I am a judge, Lady Shira. My name is Bayos Rahab. Rahab? I know that name. You might be remembering my mother. She was a judge in Jericho. Yes, of course. A good woman and a strong judge. And you. Asa sounds familiar too. Was your father Doran Asa? He was. Small world. <laughs> then you must know Lamech. My uncle? Of course, he sent us here to find you. Then that makes us cousins. Cousins? Lamech said nothing about that. Distant cousins. Lamech had grown up in Hebron. At one point he had wanted to be a watchman, but had a change of heart before he could take the vows. He wanted to be a judge of Jericho, a member of the council. He said he sent you here. Why? And who is this young lady with you? You have, a, you have strange armor on, the, on your face and hands. Uh, thank you. Should we tell her, even, that she's a Knight? This is Ruthia, and she is why we're here. Allow us to explain, Lady Shira. And the council- Oh, okay, and the council agreed to this deal you made with the Knights. They had no choice. Ruthia is the only one who can help us find a way into Mount Sinai. I'm shocked. I didn't think there, uh, there were any more Knights. I mean, you haven't seen any. Seen any. None. The Watchmen are slowly becoming a pointless section without the ranks of judges. We get fewer recruits these days. 
but this changes everything. Our sect was established in order to be wa uh, watchful of any counterattacks by the Canite. You'll be watching for a long, long time. The Canites have no intentions of ever mounting a counterattack, so you say. Yet another Indonite that won't trust me. It's ingrained in us from birth. We can't help it. Lady Shira, our stay in Hebron will be short. We only intend to recover from our long journey before we venture into Ugarit. It's a dangerous mission. Could this not be a trap? Dangerous, yes. But a trap? Hardly. The Canites gain nothing by killing one judge and one soldier. I suppose you're right. Very well. You have one. Uh, you can have one of the rooms in the barracks. I'll have food prepared for you as well. Thank you. The council is in your debt. That went a lot smoother than I thought it would. <laughs> Might I ask you something, Lady Shira? Go ahead, soldier. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with the watchman from earlier. What were these voices and visions your townspeople are experiencing? Oh, I was curious about that myself. Hebron is like a ghost town. A ghost town, huh? There were reports lately of people hearing and seeing things from what they claim are ghosts. Ghosts? I haven't seen it myself, but it supposedly st uh, stems from the Fortress of Dan. Dan was a fortress used in the war, but it was eventually sacked by the Canites. That's true. The fortress has been an abandoned ruins ruin for years. But recently, it has be uh, been the birthplace of these ghosts. Have you seen any uh, sent anyone to investigate? Oh, yes. I thought these are going to be related to the visions Joshua's been having, but I guess not. These are, these sound, this just sounds a little different. I sent one contingent of watchmen, but never heard back from them. Then I sent a second one, and they too have been missing. That's alarming, to say the least. It is. And with our small numbers, I don't have anyone else to spare. What exactly are the townspeople seeing and hearing? That's the strangest thing of all. They see these images of Indonites eating Shadim. Maybe it is related. Also, that was a vision? Was that not real? That would explain why he disappeared after that cutscene, and that didn't really make any sense to me, but... It was just a vision. Eating Shadim. And they hear sounds, like na like gnashing of teeth. Some have also reported hearing someone cry out, Blasphemy! Blasphemy! You say you can't afford to send any more watchmen, but what if we went to the Fortress of Dan to investigate? I can't ask that, you have your mission. Yes, but we can't let this go. Watchmen are miss missing, and we can't afford to lose Hebron as a base of operations. How far is Dan from here? Half a day's walk, likely less. Then let us go. Well, I can't stop you, but are you sure? Positive. Very well. Good luck and be careful. We don't have time to go on this investigation, Joshua. What were you thinking? Look, I know our mission is important, and I know you want to free your people, Ruthia, but there's something about this that doesn't sit right. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I agree with Joshua. Eating Shadim is considered blasphemy to both our people, and we experienced something like it, like it on our way here. I think it's all connected somehow. It might even be connected to Mount Sinai. I was literally about to say that. I... <laughs> Mount Sinai is shrouded in more mystery than we think. This may be a piece of that puzzle. Now it's my turn to surprise, but I think Ruthia's, Ruthia's right. Then we know where our next stop is. We have to head over to the Fortress of Dan to find out more about what people are seeing and hopefully bring back the missing watchmen. Can this really be connected to Mount Sinai? I just hope the missing watchmen are still alive. We should prepare ourselves for the worst. Okay, that's some good intrigue to go off of. Well, I will see you folks late. Exactly 100 talents, that's satisfying. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.